Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the October 13th Facebook post and making a few comments on it and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Here we go. Celebrating our eternal nature. God's source is not with you because you call or don't call on him. He is with you because he has never left you. You are what is eternally within, not the temporal, ever-changing image in the mirror that the ego has you judge. Judgment has no place in knowledge, for what is simply is and will always be. Today, before you speak to a brother or sister, recall the, their eternal nature and speak to them through yours. When you think of them, think first of whose creations they are. Then replace the illusionary picture you have painted of them with the eternal in you. What do you have to lose by allowing the eternal in you to lead you? The eagle's illusionary maze is full of thick mirrors and dead-end roads you have already traveled through a hundred times. You no longer need to balance against walls of your own making. Today we return to our truth, our eternal nature, by acknowledging first within and then practice seeing it in all people, places, and things. You are the eternal creation extension an expression of God's source and God's source is love and as you are love's extensions so too are your brothers and sisters now today let us let us remember that God does not come into and out of our lives God because we are an extension of him her is always a part of us, is always with us. It is simply that we choose to value His truth, specifically when we're either sick or in a tough situation, and then we go ahead and focus on Him <laughs> and ask Him, Her source, for whatever it is we ask Him for. But let us understand that he is simply there all, all the time, in every moment, in everyone and everything, because everyone, every moment and everything is an extension of source. Now some may be sleeping or asleep to the, that understanding, but we are not. And therefore today we celebrate this eternal nature in us instead of the eagle's illus illusionary picture frame and picture slideshow of who we who it says that we are or we are not and so today let us take this opportunity let us take this time to practice being simply who in truth we are for the more we practice who in truth we are the more we strengthen it in ourselves the more we strengthen it in ourselves, the more we see it reflecting from everyone, everything and all. And so when we, before we even have an interaction with a brother or sister, let us remember that this brother or sister, <clears throat> excuse me, is an extension of God's source, is God's source's creation. So that's something I, I like to do myself a lot is simply remind myself when I'm speaking to somebody or, or even before I speak to somebody this is God's son or this is God's daughter and therefore I'm not I don't sink into the ego's picture of who person A or B are I set that all aside I don't look at what they look like what the ego tells me they look like or what the ego tells me they, who they are all that is an illusion I place all that aside I don't listen to what the ego tells me that what they do say <clears throat> or speak, speak of 
it's really the truth in them. I already know the truth in them. I already know that they're an extension of God's source, that they are love, and love's extension such as kindness, compassion, joy, peace, forgiveness. That is their true extension. And so I support that extension in them by acknowledging that extension in them, by acknowledging that that's the truth in them. And when they start to believe in their own illusions, <clears throat> when they start to judge themselves or others, I simply help them or assist them in trying to remember who in truth they are and who their brothers and sisters are. And so the, always the first thing that I do is remind myself, remind myself, this is God's son, this is God's daughter. And when I start to judge them for what they're doing or saying or looking like, I practice remembering again who they truly are. And when I do, I send a little gratitude to God's source for helping me remember my truths through them. Because what they are doing is simply helping you remember who you truly are in every moment. Every single moment allows you to begin anew. Every single moment allows you to realign with your source. And so your brothers allow this for you. Your brother's participation in your life gifts you this opportunity. And equally so, every other opportunity during the day is a gift of the eternal in all of us. For example, if we go, go to work and, <clears throat> excuse me again, <laughs> if we go to work and uh, there's traffic, this, the traffic is simply a gift, an opportunity to practice the truth within us, an opportunity to practice patience. And patience is an extension of love. Equally so, at, at work, your peers might offer you the opportunity to practice forgiveness and realign with the truth within. Now the ego would paint that a hundred di different ways. But whatever ways the ego paints, a key to notice is that the ego always tries to separate you from them. It always tries to tell you that you are right and they are wrong, and that way it separates you from them. And that way it can have you to itself. And so whenever you're buying into that, do not judge yourself for that. Simply forgive yourself and forgive your brothers and sisters. And then return to your true essence. <clears throat> and when you do, when you have that opportunity, offer gratitude. Because you have aligned, you have consciously, you, may ha you have made the conscious choice to align with your true nature even when the ego insisted on judgment, on anger, on resentment, on jealousy. You placed all those illusions aside because you remembered that this is not the eternal in you. This is an invention of the ego and the ego is temporal and all of the ego's illusions are dissolved before God's truth, before forgiveness, before compassion before understanding, before patience, before kindness, before the light in each one of us. Choose to see their light instead of their illusion. And every moment it is really just that choice. Allowing us to choose our light over our illusions. And our brothers and sisters in us are one and everything and all is one. So we have that opportunity to realign with the truth in us, the eternal in us, every single moment. And so in truth, every single moment is an opportunity to simply be grateful, to simply offer gratitude. Imagine walking one day with that thought system in mind, simply supporting the truth within you as real. That is all you are asked to do. Simply support your truth as real. Simply support your eternal nature as real. 
simply support your brothers and sisters eternal nature as real set aside those illusions how many times have we traveled the eagle's path how many times have we hit dead end roads how many times have we felt confused during the day and angry and sad depressed tossed and turned at night simply because we chose the ego's judgment over God's truth our truth source's truth whatever you want to call it our eternal nature and so this is what is offered us to us today simply to practice our eternal nature and we will be given specific opportunities to practice it it would be different for everybody you might be stuck in a car and somebody else might be having issues with her mother-in-law but whatever whichever way our sacred journey is placed before us it is placed before us for a reason because it, the, that journey itself that we that our highest self and God's source have created for us is very specific to us so that those illusions that we still believe as real are triggered in the physical environment and when they are triggered we get the opportunity to dissolve them to release them to choose our eternal nature it's seven o'clock thank you our eternal nature over the ego's lies the ego's illusions and lies and that's it how much more peace would you have today if you simply choose to respect yourself your eternal nature there's nothing within you not to respect yes there are illusions the ego has programmed into you that are not real and yes we support those illusions with our time energy and focus sometimes but every time we support the, our illusions let us give gratitude to that to instead of judging ourselves let us give gratitude that we have the opportunity once again to see that our, our illusions are not real there's not one illusion in you that is not real love within you is real peace kindness compassion all those are real within you patience forgiveness those are real everything else is an illusion that we have been programmed by the ego to see as real but little by little through your life experience you are seeing that those things are not aligned with your true nature and so let us give gratitude to that let us today focus on our inter eternal nature for that is who we truly are that is who we all truly are thank you very much for your time I love you very much if you'd be so kind as to like comment or share the video I would appreciate it it would help with the listening process and it might help somebody find this video someday if you'd like to leave me a comment or a question I would be delighted to try and offer a response and if you can please subscribe to my YouTube videos I would love to have you in this community again thank you for your time I love you very much and God willing we will see each other tomorrow peace